what are you going to do? Make another show. Now, it's no secret that Marvel on TV hasn't exactly distinguished itself so far. One division started out with an intriguing premise, only to devolve into a generic CGI shitfest with unlikable characters and extremely questionable moral messages. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. <laughs> While Falcon and the Winter Soldier started out as a CGI shitfest with marginally likeable characters, only to devolve into a boring, preachy, critical race theory lecture session. You've got to do better, Senator. Fuck off, Falcon. In fact, fuck everyone associated with this crap. Except craft services, those guys are awesome. Anyway, with those out of the way, we come at last to Loki, Marvel's third attempt to ruin a popular established character by making them do and say things that their cinematic counterparts never would, while telling a pointless and unsatisfying story that didn't need to be told in the first place. Ready? Too fucking bad, because like I tell Tatiana every Saturday night, I'm going in hard and fast on this one, and it's up to you to make the best of it. So pucker up and witness this! Loki picks up during the events of Avengers Endgame, where a bit of time travel shenanigans allows Avengers era Loki to escape custody with the Tesseract. But he's barely launched into his first ridiculously self-aggrandizing speech before a bunch of black stormtroopers show up and body positive space cop stuns and captures him. I guess we'll just overlook the fact that Loki is half Asgardian, so he's got superhuman strength, endurance and reflexes, and would almost certainly be able to fend off an attack like this. Gotta get whatever passes for a plot moving, I suppose. So Body Positive Space Cop takes Loki to Diverse Commander Lady, where he's found guilty of crimes against the Time Variance Authority, and sentenced to be erased from existence. What the fuck is the TVA, you may ask? Well, the short version is that there used to be a bunch of different timelines, kind of like parallel universes or whatever, but then it all got a bit out of hand and they started fighting each other. Why the fuck would you go to war against a different branch of existence that has absolutely no impact on your own? Don't know. The upshot is that three giant space lizards somehow found a way to amalgamate all these different multiverses into one single timeline, and they created the TVA to maintain the integrity of it. And if anyone else is getting Umbrella Academy vibes from all of this, then rest assured you're not alone. Anyway, the TVA's main role is to hunt down variants, individuals who deviate from the correct flow of events and threaten the integrity of the timeline. How the fuck would you even begin to monitor something as infinitely vast and complex as the universe, where literally trillions of possible outcomes outcomes are decided every single nanosecond? How do the space lizards decide what the correct flow of events should be? Doesn't this mean that absolutely nothing that's happened up to this point actually means anything, because free will doesn't even exist? Don't know. The point is that Loki's escape with the Tesseract altered the timeline and marked him out as a variance. Wait, shouldn't Tony Stark be erased since he's the one who invented the time machine? Now, Loki's all set to be erased from history when Owen Wilson comes in with an offer he can't refuse. Help them to hunt down a particularly tricky variant they've been struggling to apprehend, and maybe they'll spare his life. Hmm, I wonder why they want him in particular for a job like this. What is this about? This isn't about you. No way! Oh wow, who could have predicted that this masked figure would turn out to be another variant of Loki? Naturally, because this Loki's a female, she's better than our version in every possible way. She's smarter, more cunning, more physically capable, better at fighting, and of course, she has a tragic backstory to totally justify her actions in the presence. Because as you know, no woman is capable of being evil according to modern Hollywood. <laughs> Anyway, female Loki is out to destroy the TVA, and naturally, original Loki starts following her around like an obedient puppy, until the two of them get stranded on a planet that's about to explode. And they also have the hots for each other, which is really weird when you consider that they're literally variations of the same person. So, like, if they have sex, is that considered incest or masturbation? But luckily the TVA show up just in the nick of time and rescue them, and original Loki gets trapped in a punishment time loop where he gets kicked in the balls over and over again. Fuck 
off, show! Eventually, the two Lokis reunite, get to the space lizards and kill them, but they turn out to be puppets, and the man pulling the strings is actually a crazy black guy living in a floating castle at the end of time and space. And he explains that he used to be a scientist who discovered all the multiverses and made contact with other versions of himself, but eventually they fell out and a war almost wiped out the universe until he recruited a giant space monster thing to eat all the other timelines so that his reality was the only one left. If the other multiverses were allowed to regrow, it would spawn new versions of himself that would eventually start the whole war again. The result is a kind of paradox where the Lokis have only two choices, either kill him and start a multiversal war that will result in his eventual resurrection, or take over themselves and carry on his work. Either way, well, he wins. Quite the conundrum if I do say so myself. But then female Loki just says fuck it and kills him anyway, and original Loki ends up in a different reality so that the show can set up the multiverse of madness. Honestly, just when I think the MCU can't get any dumber or more disrespectful to its own legacy, along comes something like Loki to totally subvert my expectations. This show is an insult, not just to Marvel or its characters, but to basic storytelling, common sense and human intelligence. It's a perfect example of what happens when hubris, agenda and greed take priority over storytelling. A show made by people who either don't understand or openly hate the very property they've inherited, or simply don't care about anything except using them as a platform for the message. Loki himself now talks and acts like a completely different person, falling for obvious deceptions that he never would have before, making dumb decisions that are totally inappropriate to the situation, or failing to come up with any logical plans, contingencies or counters to anything that's happening. This version of Loki is emotional, short-sighted, impulsive, stupid, weak, needy and gullible. In short, a once smart, calculating and formidable character has been artificially dumbed down in order to make this fucking shit show possible. I've said before that any character, no matter how awesome, is only ever as smart as the person writing them, and well, make of that what you will. But hey, at least he's bisexual now, as we find out in a blink and you'll miss it scene that I'm willing to bet 99% of the audience didn't even notice or care about. Or perhaps another prince. A bit of both. I suspect the same as you. Oh my god, I was literally shaking. Not that any of this particularly matters anyway, because really, Loki is just a side character in his own show. The real star of this story is female Loki, better known as Sylvie, a version of him that escaped TVA custody as a child by... stamping on an agent's foot. <laughs> and she's been on the run most of her life, plotting for a way to take revenge. The entire narrative is basically structured around this character and her objective, and original Loki is just along for the ride. Sylvie is the one making all the major decisions, winning all the important battles, figuring out the most vital clues, and generally driving the plot forward, while original Loki just kind of stumbles along behind her looking confused. Jesus, what a fucking waste of an amazing actor. The hallmark of shitty writers is their inability to elevate their own mediocre work, either through lack of talent, intelligence or creativity, so instead they resort to tearing down everyone else to make themselves look better. Like the Infinity Stones for example, which were set up as some of the most powerful and destructive objects in the known universe, only for the TVA to use them as paperweights. Because that makes the TVA look really cool, right? Or Loki himself, who was once a cool and ruthless antagonist, but now he's a background character in his own story, constantly getting outsmarted, overpowered and humiliated by a selection of strong, diverse female characters. Honestly, this shit is so fucking ridiculous and predictable at this point that it barely even qualifies as storytelling. It's just recycling the same formula and ticking the same boxes over and over again. Constantly belittling and mocking the work of previous writers doesn't just bring down their accomplishments, it diminishes your own, such as they are. It implies that you don't have enough confidence in your own work to put it on an equal playing field, and the only way to win is to retroactively handicap the other players. The problem is that your audience isn't as dumb as you. They can see exactly what you're doing, and they know why you're doing it. 
Directing, direction and pacing is some of the worst I've seen in any MCU product ever. The first three episodes are basically an endless stream of dull conversations over a table, or dull conversations over lunch, or dull conversations over a drink. Everyone is always talking, 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 but none of them are saying anything worth listening to. It's all trite, irrelevant, repetitive garbage. Like the first episode, which is basically Loki talking about his feelings and insecurities for 45 minutes, eventually admitting that he's a weak, fragile attention seeker. Oh god, make it stop! Remember when scripts would show characters acting with a consistent pattern of behaviour and trust the audience to make up their own minds about them, instead of straight up telling you what their personality is? Characters constantly repeat things they've already said, reiterate stuff the audience already knows, and circle back to previous ideas and conversations without adding anything new, and it all just smacks of lazy, bloated, amateurish writing that desperately needs to be tightened up. In the hands of talented writers and directors, this show could easily have been wrapped up in three or four tightly scripted episodes instead of this tedious, repetitive shite churned out by talentless hacks that were happy to stand on the shoulders of giants and take a shit all over them in the process. And what's funny here is that the show actually tries to grapple with big, meaty philosophical ideas, like the toppling of dictators leading to a destructive power vacuum, or the paradoxical choice between secure servitude and chaotic free will. But because the writers are fucking idiots, the show's unable to offer any meaningful insights or solutions to any of this stuff. It's just kill the bad guy and hope for the best. The upshot is that Loki is quite simply a waste. A waste of time and money, a waste of talented actors and interesting characters, and a waste of all the years of hard work that made this show possible in the first place. The Infinity Saga was all about hooking you in and getting you invested, but it's becoming pretty obvious that the honeymoon is over now and so is the fun that came with it. Now the MCU is all about quotas, messages, and smashing down everything they built up. Kind of like the comic book industry now that I think about it. Well, if that's the case, they're fucking welcome to it. I'm just gonna sit back with a beer and watch it all burn. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.